to you that the great mother that she's been spoken of is in the children, in terms of children. But me, I would say she was not only a great mother to the children, and the children, but there are so many, right from the inside the house, into parliament, constituencies, and various areas all over Uganda, even across, because either they are brothers, sisters, or children, grandchildren. So she earned the title of the word grandmother, I think very appropriately. In terms of um, uh, celebrated preachers, um, some of this morning, I think I, I gained a lot. I could see the children in it, I could see the friends, I could see the role of a call that God had assigned to her. And throughout her constituency celebration, she, all that she told me was that her agenda was God's um, um, special duties for the country and in particular for doing what she could possibly do by being directed. So the direction started not only from inside the house, but through places where she was. So we thank God for that. I'm not going to take much time talking because the children have said it all. And in particular, uh, His Grace, the Bishop from Ni to Nigeria. Hearing him talk, in particular, particularly when he started talking at home, I, I started feeling a lot more relieved of any tension that was playing foul with me. And uh, I think a number of people also went through the same experience. And I want to thank um, the Archbishop so much for that wonderful release that you've given us. <laughs> and what is more, I think um, um, she needs to, 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 to have a personality more deeply rooted in Uganda, I think, I felt. And why, why, um, but luckily enough, by erecting um, a missionary church, which will be based in, in Lera, she has actually brought a new spiritual mission, spiritual stage at a certain high level. Not only for Uganda, but for Africa and for the world. So thank you very much um, for what you've done. And for, the, for your colleague, Bishop Olua, who have had the, the, the missionary spirit of inviting you to come over and share with you. Thank you, Bishop Olua. Not least, I want to thank um, my brother, uh, we call ourselves brothers and brother-in-law. And uh, whenever she comes back home, she would uh, talk to me about her brother. I mean, her brother sending me his message to the brother-in-law. And that was his excellency. <laughs> and I would her, uh, tell her sometimes in by very joking that now when you call him my brother-in-law, I don't want you to tell my brother-in-law that you are senior to her to him <laughs> in marriage. <laughs> because although you told him that uh, you are to celebrate 54 years this this mo next month, that is in January, February, February, February 6th, mm -hmm. um, don't tell her that you are, you are, you are still junior to me. In marriage, never. <laughs> but she said, "Yes, yeah, but this is my brother. I have to tell him that he is late." <laughs> so I said, "Now shut up." <laughs> <laughs> and um, she was happy to be told outright, but she never entertained any spirit of um, disobedience <clears throat> in her heart. And this is why I call her a great wife and um, very obedient. 
She cracked a joke in Parliament by asking the Speaker to close the meeting that um, she needs to go home and feed her husband, Mr. Smart, because it is at 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she was um, harassed up to a certain point. She said, what is this eating you said so early? <laughs> and uh, she, was, she had difficulty and um, hesitation to explain. <laughs> but um, all the same, she was not only a good, um, a great wife, but a great mother. I think these children all remember uh, the great Sunday media lunch. They start from breakfast. Uh, uh, you are asked to go to church in the morning. Everybody, if you, if you are not ready, you don't take any tea. Coming back, there was ready tea, ready lunch, which continues until about supper time. And supper time, uh, they had the rare occasion of sleeping after nine. So uh, it was quite an influence in the home. So I keep telling my um, the wife of my boys that um, uh, you were let this your children, the grandchildren of this um, uh, great mother of yours, learn the same lesson. Mm -hmm. And she, she kept, I know she has, has had a lot of sharing with them. And uh, she likes expanding, extending her relationship to the children to the extent of even wanting to, to train the mothers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think um, in all, uh, I think she has lived a life which we shall live to remember, uh, not only in my home, children, but um, with many other uh, friends, uh, relatives, and all those associations she has cultivated around her while in her life. And all that we can now accept is to continue to celebrate with her, as she also celebrates with the people that she, that she is joining in, in heaven before God. The word of God says that whether you die or live, you are still with me. All that you should do is to prepare yourself, uh, according to the, the bishop of the, the summon of the bishop, that we should prepare and frame and, and map out our way through in such a way that when you are going, you are going straight to, to where you are being going to, going to be received. And so uh, uh, we are happy that as a family we'll be doing following the same um, channel that she has left behind. But above all, I'd like to share with you that she, has, she goes leaving behind an altar which we as a family have to keep seven days, the first seven days each month we are praying, praising on Zoom. Each time we, we assemble, it's a two hours share. And we share this with um, men of God who give us the guidance. And it, it's a big relief to us. And we shall continue to do this as we remember our. So thank you very much for all this um, um, uh, sharing and um, encouragement you've given us, we remember, we need to remember it and do, and do not hesitate to call on us. We live on Wampeo, Handlon Road, Ubulobi. And if you come to Lira, there is a home there. Um, yeah, in our pet, uh, village home is a little. If as many of you as can come, we'll have the opportunity of seeing it. It's a small place, but we'll have accommodation enough for everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.